Hello, my dear student. I am Professor Devashish Bose, Head, Department of Criminology and Forensic Science, Dr. Hari Singh Gaur Vishwavidyalaya Sagar, Madhya Pradesh. Today, I am going to present a lecture of BSc First Semester on the unit Introduction to Forensic Science with the topic Federal Bureau of Investigation (FBI), which has been jointly prepared by myself and Mr. Giraj Sharma, a PhD scholar and a UGC JRF. at department of criminology and forensic science dr hari singh gaur vishwavidyalaya sagar so let's start our discussion while taking a look at what we are going to learn today today in module 1 we will be look into the introduction and history of fbi in module 2 it will be the structure of fbi module 3 will be dedicated towards the mission and priorities of fbi module 4 will be the partners of fbi and finally our module 5 will be conclusion before beginning my dear student i would like to clear one thing we are looking about all the investigation agencies within india and if we talk about outside india in the foreign world the federal bureau of investigation is one of the best investigating agency or we can say it's the most talked about investigating agency everyone is following the fbi in the tv serials in movies and in lot of things we only see fbi and also we often make chances or try to become a part of fbi so here's your chance to know about fbi and make your way into it so we start federal bureau of investigation formally the bureau of investigation or boi is the domestic intelligence and security service of the united states which simultaneously serves as the nation's prime federal law enforcement agency operating under the jurisdiction of the us department of justice the fbi is concurrently a member of the us intelligence community and reports to both the attorney general and the director of national intelligence a leading us counter terrorism counter intelligence and criminal investigative organization the fbi has jurisdiction over violation of more than 200 categories of federal crime With this brief introduction we come to the history of FBI. It was on July 26 1908 the Federal Bureau of Investigation was constituted. The US Attorney General Charles Bonaparte orders a group of newly hired federal investigators to report to Chief Examiner Stanley W Finch of the Department of Justice. So one year later the office of the chief examiner was renamed the bureau of investigation and in the year 1935 it became the federal bureau of investigation when the department of justice was created in the year 1870 to enforce federal law and coordinate judicial policy it had no permanent investigator on its staff at first it hired private detectives when it needed federal crimes investigated and later investigators from other federal agencies such as the secret service which was created by the department of the treasury in 1865 to investigate counterfeiting in the early part of the 20th century the attorney general was authorized to hire a few permanent investigator and the office of the chief examiner which consists mostly of accountants was created to review financial transaction of the federal courts the date when agents reported to duty that was july 26 1908 is celebrated as the genesis of the fbi by the march 1909 the force included 34 agents and attorney general george wickensham bonaparte's successor renamed in the bureau of investigation My dear student now we will be learning about the structure of FBI it's very interesting and important and you can make a difference between the structure of FBI and our structure that is CBI's structure in the subsequent lectures FBI acting director 
The present position in the year 217 is being honored by Andrew McAbee. Andrew McAbee was named acting director of the FBI on 9th May 2017. Prior to this role, he served as the FBI's deputy director where he oversaw all FBI's domestic and international investigative and intelligence activity. Mr. McCabe joined the FBI as a special agent in the year 1996. He began his career in the New York field office, where he investigated and supervised organized crime matter. During the course of his career, Mr. McCabe had held leadership positions in the counter-terrorism division, the National Security Branch and the Washington Field Office and has also served as the FBI's Associate Deputy Director. At this moment, I would like to tell you why I have taken this example. Because I could have seen that he is the one of the head. Because just I would like to know you that how is the hierarchical position runs in the FBI. From where a person starts and how he can become the Chief Officer of FBI. Next to him is Executive Assistant Director and Assistant Director. My dear student, these are the directors of the other branches such as National Security Branch, Executive Assistant Director, Counter Intelligence Division, Counter Terrorism Division, High Value Detainee, High Value Detainee Integration Group, Terrorist Screening Center, Weapons of Mass Destruction Directorate, Intelligence Branch, Science and Technology Branch, Information and Technology Branch, Human Resources Branch. These all branches will have their own Executive Assistant Director and Assistant Directors. My dear student, now we are going to discuss the most interesting module that is what is the mission and priority of Federal Bureau of Investigation and how it differs from our Central Bureau of Investigation. I would like you to compare both the investigative agencies, both the largest democracies of the world and both investigative agencies you should learn about their similarities and their differences. So as we know that very well, FBI today is considered as one of the world's premier security and crime fighting force, reporting to both the Attorney General and the Director of the National Intelligence. The Bureau has dual responsibility as a law enforcement and intelligence agency. So two works it is doing simultaneously. These are the points which you should jot down. Learn about our vision and mission is the priority core values, budget and more. These all are to be knitted together. So let's start with the FBI's main goal or mission, which is to protect and defend the United States, to uphold and enforce the criminal laws of the United States, and to provide leadership and criminal justice service to federal state municipal and international agencies and partner. Partner means partner countries. Currently, the FBI's top priorities are protect the United States from terrorist attack because this is the most threatened kind of activity which is going on. Because every world is thinking that it's against the United States because they are fighting against terrorists in almost all over the world. So it's a very important charter of, of uh, FBI. Protect the United States against foreign intelligence operations and espionage. This is the main work of all these organizations. Compare it with the RAW of India. They are also doing the same thing. Clear? Protect the United States against cyber base attack and high technology crime. This is what in some hand CBI or NCRB in India is doing. Combat public corruption at all level. I think this is in all over the world. We blame that in India corruption is there, but it's not in United States of America. It's the same. So here CBI is doing it. There FBI is doing it. Protect civil rights. Combat transnational or national criminal organization and enterprises. So this is very important. You know the neighboring country of America. That's Mexico. And what's happened there? All drug cartels, 
all cartels from South America, they are facing a lot of threat. So this is the main thing the Federal Bureau of Investigation is uh, working on. Next is combat major white collar crime. So it's over there also, not in India. Combat significant violent crime. Support federal, state, local and international partners. Upgrade technology to enable and further the successful performance of its mission as stated above. After talking about the priorities of FBI, now we will be discussing the another part that is mission of FBI. What is their mission? So the mission of Federal Bureau of Investigation are protect civil rights, combat transnational or national criminal organization and enterprises, combat major white collar crime, combat significant violent crimes. As we know that, like other agencies, FBI also needs partner with other agencies. So let's start. The National Counter-Terrorism Center serves as the primary organization in the US government for integrating and analyzing all intelligence pertaining to terrorism possessed or acquired by the US government. Right? This is except purely domestic sponsored terrorism. We are talking about global terrorism. Next, will be to do its job, the FBI works with both government and private sector partners every day and at every local, state, federal, tribal, international level. In some cases, these partnerships directly support their investigation and operation. In other cases, they enable mutual beneficial information sharing that help them to better understanding emerging threats and foster crime prevention initiative. Operational and investigative partnership. Their national headquarters and local field offices have built investigative partnership with just every local, state, federal and tribal law enforcement and intelligence agency all over the America. Their agents and support staff also work closely with international organizations like Interpol and with other agencies all over the world and with law enforcement and security services in foreign country across the globe. So this is how they work. The following are just a few of the operational tasks of the force and the partnership. They are National Counter Terrorism Center. The National Counter Terrorism Center serves as the primary organization in the US government for integrating and analyzing all intelligence pertaining to terrorism possessed or acquired by the country. Then next it, it serves as the central and shared knowledge bank on terrorism information as well as integration, dissemination and use of terrorism information. Next, we move on to regional computer forensic laboratories. The regional computer forensic laboratories program's mission is to assist law enforcement agencies around the nation in providing technical assistance and training in examination of digital evidence in support of criminal investigation. Terrorist screening centers. The terrorist screening center is a multi-agency center administered by FBI in the US government's consolidated counter-terrorism watch list component and is responsible for the management and operation of terrorist screening database commonly known as the watch list. You might have heard in the notice that uh, uh, this person has been stopped entering the America. The immigration of American immigration stopped so and so person because his name matched with some of the terrorists. Look how meticulously this organization is wo working. Just with a match in the surname or in the name, they don't allow that person or grill that person. This is how they watch. This is how the FBI is working. The watch list is a single database that contains sensitive national security and law enforcement information concerning the identities of those who are known or reasonably suspected of being involved in terrorist activities.
The TSC uses the watch list to support frontline screening agencies in positive identification known as suspected terrorists who are attempted to obtain visas, enter the country, board an aircraft or engage in other activities. That means their embassies, all American embassies are connected with FBI. They are passing on all the informations. That who are seeking visa? What are their backgrounds? So sitting in India, FBI can know that I had applied for the visa and they had screened all my background and they had informed FBI this and this person is entering. Somehow if he manages to enter by falsifying the data there in the border, they are stopped. Now we move on to the next point, Safe Trail Task Force. On March 3, 1994, the FBI initiated Operation Safe Trail with the Navajo Department of Law Enforcement in Flagstaff, Arizona. The purpose of the operation would involve, in the later stage, the Safe Trail Task Force (STTF) program was to unite the FBI with other federal, state, local and tribal law enforcement agencies in a collaborative effort to combat the growth of crime in the Indian country. I am talking about Red Indian, not India. STTFs allow participating agencies to combine limited resource and increase investigative coordination in the Indian country to target violent crime, drugs, gangs and gaming violation. So again, it's Red Indian or the Native Americans. Okay. Next, Violent Crimes Against Children, International Task Force, that is VCACITF. The VCACITF, formerly known as the Innocence Images International Task Force, became operational on October 6, 2004 and serves as the largest task force of its kind in the world. The Violent Crime Against Children International Task Force is a select cadre of international law enforcement experts working together to formulate and deliver a dynamic global response to crime against children through the establishment and fullerence of strategic partnership, the aggressive engagement of relevant law enforcement and the extensive use of licensing, operational support and coordination. The VCACITF consists of online child sexual exploitation investigators from around the world and includes more than 69 active members from 40 countries. The task force hosts a five-week training session for newly invited task force officers, bringing them to the United States to work side by side with FBI agents in the Violent Crime Against Children program. The VCACITF also conducts an annual case coordination meeting where task force members come together in a central location to share best practice and coordinate transnational investigations between members. So with this we move on to the next point that is Joint Terrorism Task Force. The FBI's Joint Terrorism Task Force or JTTF are the national front line on terrorism. Small cells of highly trained, local-based, passionately committed investigator, analyst, linguist, SWAT expert and other specialists from dozens of US law enforcement and intelligence agency. They come together to investigate terrorism. They do it all. Chase down, lead, gather evidence, make arrests, provide security for special events, conduct training collect and share intelligence and respond to threats and incidences at the moment of threat. Then we come to National Cyber Joint Task Force. Communication, commerce and government are just a few aspects of daily lives that are forever changed and in many ways made more conveniently by the internet. Without internet, our world is zero. We are living in the cyber world. Unfortunately, these same advancements also have introduced a new breed of technologically savvy criminals. Where there is net, there is crime. Even you know what we do, pirated things, downloading materials 
from the grey side. Buying chemicals and drugs from the grey network. So these all are gaining. And from where? The country which is technologically savvy. India is not yet technologically savvy. But United States of America, European countries. So with that comes the criminal. Such crimes as terrorism, espionage, financial fraud and identity theft have long existed in the physical realm but are now being perpetrated in the cyber domain. Now we are living in an era where our identity is being hacked any moment of time. Our data has been extracted. If I ask you how many times you have used your personal data on net, bank transaction, other tra kind of transaction, even booking a cine ticket on internet, recharging your mobile, buying tickets, all these things, you have to fill your data. And that data is open. As a unique multi-agency cyber center, the NCIJTF had the primary responsibility to coordinate, integrate and share information to support cyber threat. Investigation, supply and support, intelligence analysis for community decision makers and provide value to other ongoing efforts in the fight against the cyber threat to the nation. The NCIJTF also synchronizes joint effort that focuses on identifying, pursuing and defeating the actual terrorists, spies and criminals who try to seek to exploit their national system. To accomplish this, the task force leveraged the collective authorities and capabilities of its member and collaborates with international and private sector partners to bring all available resources to bear against domestic cyber threat and their perpetrators. Through the coordination, collaboration and sharing that occurs at the NCIJTF, Members across the US government work towards placing cyber criminals behind the bars, removing them from the national networks. The NCIJTF follows both the letter and the spirit of the law to ensure that the privacy rights of all Americans are protected throughout the course of the investigation and efforts that it coordinates and support. So my dear student, now we are going to conclude this important lecture on FBI. In this lecture, we have studied the Federal Bureau of Investigation, FBI, formerly the Bureau of Investigation in the Domestic Intelligence and Security Service of the United States, which simultaneously permits as the national's prime federal law enforcement agency, operating under the jurisdiction of the US Department of Justice. The FBI is concurrently a member of the US intelligence community and reports both to the Attorney General and the Director of the National Intelligence. All these information here, we come to the end of today's lecture. At this moment, I would like to jot down the similarities and dissimilarities between the FBI, CBI and DRAW and come back to me. Keep in mind what we have discussed today. It's time for you all to do some self-study. This is Professor Devashish Bose signing off for today. If you want to learn more and enhance your knowledge, you may log on to our website for MCQs, quizzes and LORs at www.cec.nic.in.